Shop is not a tall girl brand necessarily, but with a little bit of research, we can make any brand work for us. I wanted to share a few new in items that I got from the Frankie Shop. I did mention it in my last video and all items are here and here I am sharing them. It's your girl Coco, welcome back to my channel. If you like videos about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle for tall women, definitely stay tuned to this video. The Frankie Shop doesn't necessarily cater to tall women. However, for me, we can definitely make these brands work for us. These three jackets that I purchased are oversized jackets and a one size fit all. When I see those things on the Frankie Shop, definitely run to the item and grab it and go. Solely because I have noticed that anything that is one size fit all or oversized at the Frankie Shop fits my frame. Not extremely oversized, but oversized to where I can still get that look. First jacket is the tightest cropped moto jacket. It is a faux leather jacket. It does have shoulder pads in the shoulder area. So each button is real. Sometimes we buy jackets and they kind of, they, they get you because the button's gonna be real. <laughs> um, the zippers on the jacket are also real as well, meaning you can stick your hand inside of each pocket on here. That's also a plus. Sometimes we buy jackets and it's not a real zipper, okay? The sleeves are long enough for me. I have a 22, maybe 23, 22 and a half. I'm gonna say 22 and a half arm length. So if you are a tall girl and your arms are longer than my, maybe a 23 will fit, you'll be able to get this jacket. It's cropped, it's a nice cropped fit on my frame. It's also nicely oversized. Not to the point where it's gonna take over my outfit if that makes sense this is the tightest cropped jacket it does have three pockets okay so that's the two at the bottom and then there's the one at the top now, in the video you'll see the jacket on me and how it fits my frame i absolutely love it if you are into crop jackets definitely give this a try because as tall women it's really hard for us to find something that is cropped that doesn't look awkward on us. <laughs> we have to be conscious of the things that we're wearing because we do have a longer frame and certain items just don't look good on us. I mean, it's just what it is and we just have to get used to it. This is why I always promote buying things that work well with your frame as opposed to what everybody else is buying because everything just doesn't look good on us. The lapels are not too big. I am for reference, hmm, a 38D. The girl tried to tell me I was a double D, but I lost some weight. It does zipper up on me nicely. Nice detailing. I'll link everything below for you guys if you are interested. Now I am gonna tell you, it's probably sold out. Okay. The Frankie Shop does a really good job at notifying their customers when something comes back in, when you actually put it on your list to be notified. So if you do want something like this, sign up for the notification. As soon as it comes to your email, purchase the jacket. I think this is a good staple piece and a good statement piece, right? I'm probably gonna have this for a while. What you wanna do is you wanna wipe these jackets down because they are faux leather. Now, some of the specs on the jacket would be, from shoulder to shoulder on here, would be a 22. The bust area is a 37. The length of the entire jacket is a 19 and a half. And that's it. And again, it does have shoulder pads on here. Really, really nice jacket. I'll link everything below for you guys for this jacket. It's actually a little tiny pocket at the bottom. But that one is fake, okay? <laughs> that one is fake. So I'll get into the next jacket, but let me know what you guys think about this jacket. If you are a tall lady, are you into crop jackets? Comment below, let's get the conversation started. The next jacket is the Chicago Oversized Biker Coat. Now, I already have the Aria Biker Coat from the Frankie Shop, but it is a traditional biker coat because it does have the belt at the bottom. This one does not. This is really, really nice, guys. Like, the grain on here is extremely nice. The sleeves are really, really long. If you're shorter than me and you take a look at the model on the website, those sleeves are super long. So if you do have a longer arm, you can definitely get this jacket, guys. 
I would recommend this jacket for anybody who's tall and who have been wanting a nice faux leather coat. Um, if you don't want to break the bank, this is definitely the jacket for you. As you guys know, a lot of leather coats and stuff now are extremely expensive. I'm going to tell you, I saw a coat that I really liked. I didn't even pay attention to where it was from or who it was by. It was $12,000, guys. Then I looked at it, it was YSL. That's a lot of money for a jacket. Um, but on here, we do have zippers as well. All the zippers on here work with the exception of this one. This one is just for decoration or design. Then there's two at the bottom. A really nice coat. Like, okay, so what I like about this one is that it's kind of long and it's very oversized, but it's, it still has a lot of structure to it. So this one has minimal shoulder pads. I think at first I didn't feel the shoulder pads, but they are in here and they're very light. They're not as big as the other ones, but they are in here. Actually, it's not a shoulder pad. It's kind of weird because it's not a shoulder pad because shoulder pads are on top. It's more so in this part of the jacket to make this part of the jacket stand up. So that's pretty cool. Um, very grainy. Like I said, sleeves are really long. And let's get into the specs on this one. So one size fit all. From shoulder to shoulder, it's 22. The bust area is 50. And the length is a 28. So it's 28 inches long. That's, that's why it's so long. But the sleeves, I should have brought my measuring tape to measure this for you guys. But this is a really nice jacket. If you are looking for any faux leather coats, the Aria, the Titus, and the Chicago. I also have another one from them, but these are more of a moto style. I think that every woman should own some sort of moto jacket in their closet. It does add a little bit of chicness to any outfit. You can wear this dressed up or dressed down. You can definitely wear it with a skirt. You can wear it with sweatpants. <laughs> I see a lot of men wearing it with sweatpants. You can wear it with dresses. I've done that before with a little edge, like a nice dainty dress. As tall women, like I said, for me, finding statement pieces, I'm always gonna do that because the struggle is real. If I can go to a place and find something that is different and that it fits my frame, I'm gonna get it. That's the two um, fold of the coats that I got from them. And I'll get into the last coat right now. The last coat is the Gaia Double Breasted Coat. Okay, I wore this today and honey. So here's the thing, it says a coat, but I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, it's not thick. This is giving me a long sweater. <laughs> like it's very thin. There is a lining in here, but the lining is only halfway in the jacket. If you are a girl from New York City and you try to wear this in the winter time, it ain't gonna work. Um, so right now is a good time to wear something like this. It's a very stylish. It does have shoulder pads in it. It's oversized and I got a size large. This is the only one that I got in a large because I can tell by reading the description and looking at the model that this was a really oversized coat. When I talk about knowing your measurements, it's so important because I can easily go online really quick and read something and then purchase it because I know it's gonna fit me. That's <laughs> that's the last jacket that I got. The buttons are all monochrome, so everything is blending in, which is beautiful. Like I said, it's not really thick, but it's extremely long. Six feet tall, you guys can see how it actually fits on my frame. I'll pop in another video with me wearing it because you could actually see how long it fits me because I have on a pair of boots. If you are into stuff like this, definitely give this a try. The pockets are real. Now, I'll tell you this, when I got the jacket, the pockets were like sewn together, but I knew it was like a pocket here. I had to remove the thread so I can get my hand in the pocket, but it is an actual pocket here. So that's great, but a really nice jacket. Let me make sure I got it one size, a large. Yes, I did get a large. So this is one of the items that I typically wouldn't buy in a large because they only have 
medium large and sometimes the medium large is just too small. In this case, because this was oversized and I can tell by reading everything in the description that it was gonna fit my frame, so I took a chance and I bought it. Read those descriptions and know your measurements. <sighs> know your measurements, ladies. If you are a tall woman and you wanna shop online and you are afraid, know your measurements. You will be 100% much more comfortable with buying something online if you know your measurements and you know how to read these descriptions and know what's gonna fit your body. Sometimes it always doesn't work out, but if they have enough information for you to read, the item will work just fine. So that's it for this video. These are the three items that I got from the Frankie shop. I absolutely love them. Make sure you guys are liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it so I can pump out more videos like this, showing my tall ladies that we don't necessarily have to shop at a tall girl brand to be stylish. So I am going to link each item below if you are interested in these jackets. Definitely check them out. If you're unsure of the size, just order them when they come back in stock. Try them on. If it fits, you love it, keep it. If not, send it back. At least you know if you can get something from the Frankie shop. I'm also going to link some of my blog posts for you ladies to check out. You guys already know I run a tall blog called Coco Styles NYC and I'm also going to link my digital products for my styling services. I'm going to link the how to shop high low the right way so you can start buying things for your wardrobe that are stylish and not really overspend on things that you actually are not going to wear. If you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment Coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services CocoStylesNY.com and I'm on tickety tickety talk CocoStylesNYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.